Variable rate irrigation is a great way for farmers to retrofit their center pivots to apply water just where it's needed and just the right amounts in a field because most of our fields have lots of variability. So we need a way to address that variability with our water application so that we're not over applying or under applying, but really giving the plant just what it needs throughout that field in all those different zones. We all know that uh, fields have variability in their soil. So if you look at an aerial photograph of a field, um, you'll see different colors, you'll see different elevations, and all these things uh, drive um, the water needs of the plants in the field. So a sandier part of the field will dry out more frequently than a, a, a part of the field that has heavier soils. So what a variable rate irrigation system does is that it takes these different zones that you can delineate using different techniques and applies the proper amount of water to those zones. An irrigation management zone is basically a zone that we have developed or delineated based on a layer of uh, data that we've collected from that field. That layer of data could be yield data, it could be field history, it could be elevation, it could be soil texture, you know, soil type, anything of the such that we've combined together to create differences in that field. The management zone is an identified difference that is going to be different from the zone next to it. So VRI is a great conservation tool because if you look for like for an aerial photo of many of our fields, you'll see that in uh, most of our fields there are non-cropped areas that center pivots are covering as they make their way around the field. And these areas do not need water applied. As a matter of fact, if you apply water, you're really exacerbating problems like weed growth or uh, wild vines and trees in those areas that just require more maintenance. So cutting water off in those areas has no effect at all on crop uh, production, but saves water by turning it off over those areas that uh, don't need any water applied. And also we can adjust water rates across the field where the soil holds more water. VRI can enhance water conservation by the better placement of water in a couple of ways. First, we could just use it as simplistic as an on-off system. So if we're traveling across a field and we have non-cropped area, anything of a such in the field, then we can just turn those nozzles off. And there are a lot of places in the southeast that we have those issues. So the utilization of that, first off, conserves water right off the bat. Secondly, by the site-specific placement of water. So we don't want to put quite as much water on a clay soil as what we do a sandy soil, right? We want to match up what the requirements are there so we reallocate that water and thus better use that resource.